a lot of service providers end up doing the same things over and over for every client. Wouldn't it be great if we can create and schedule all the tasks that always happens with our clients? Now imagine a client joins and all the tasks are automatically created and scheduled depending on the time that the client has joined. That is what we are gonna build in this video together. It is super easy and it's gonna save you a ton of time. I'm gonna be using as an example the creation of a YouTube video, but this can be a client project, for example. It doesn't really matter what it is. But I just wanna use this opportunity to build something uh, useful for myself. So here, because the idea is to build all the tasks that happen automatically, what we need is that actually our service always happens the same way, or at least 80% of the times. And for that, what I always recommend is that for every service that you have, you create a map like this one, where all the steps are laid down, because these are gonna be the tasks that then you're gonna have to create, that you can create them automatically. So which are the tasks that I want to create for, in my case, for my YouTube videos? They are scripting, recording, editing, checking, edit, publishing, okay? These are the five tasks. So in my case, what I want is that whenever a video has a release date and that there are no tasks attached to it, then an automation will create all these five tasks and wait until I build it because I'm gonna show a little extra thing that we can attach these tasks to, which is gonna make delegation so much easier. In your case, the trigger for this automation could be the onboarding itself. So let's say that after a client has paid, we want to create the client's project and all the tasks. That will be even a, a better trigger for the automation. Let's build this one because it is not so much different. So in my case, since I want that whenever the release date has been assigned, I create all the tasks, I have created this formula that I am going to use for the triggering of the automation. Whenever this is checked, I want the automation to run. The formula is this one. In my case, there are two conditions. One, that the release date not empty, so it means that it's being filled, and that the subtasks are empty, so it means that I have not yet created any tasks, and in my case, that this is a long video. Okay, so I put here all the conditions because then in the automation tool, it's gonna be much easier to build this. So this video is ready to trigger the automation. Now let's create the automation. I'm gonna be using make.com. I'm gonna create a new scenario. I'm gonna be using Notion as the trigger. And what I want is to search objects. Here, if you have not connected Notion to make, you will be able to do it over here and just follow the steps and give access to the databases that you're going to be interacting with. Here, I'm gonna search for the database. In my case, it's called YouTube videos. In your case, it can be client projects, for example, found it. And now what I want to search for are for this little formula over here scheduled and not scheduled and no tasks. This is a formula. And since this is a formula, I have to scroll down to formula checkbox equals. And in my case, this is true. This will vary depending on the trigger that you want. So in my case, I'm triggering this from Notion, but if you are triggering this from another app, from Stripe or from whatever other app, uh, then you will not need this trigger. But I'm just trying to keep in this example, everything uh, within Notion. Uh, this is the number of results that I can get. I don't see a reason to put a, a limit here so I can just add 100 and now to keep things clean I'm just gonna rename this okay I recommend that you do the same because it's happened to me so many times that I build something and then I don't know what I build so this is great is super helpful so now this trigger is gonna find all the videos that are ready for the automation to create tasks for so now let's create the actual tasks. Let's add another module, Notion, and here create a database item. In my case, I have a tasks database. So this is the database that I'm going to use. Before in Notion, we should have linked the database that we are using with the tasks database. In my case, this is the relation. If not, just click here in add a property and create the relation between both databases. Okay, coming back to make, select the task database and here let's write the name of the task, scripting. The status is gonna be not started. And here, what is important is that we link that task to the video in my case or the client project in your case, if you wanna be using for, for your clients. So here I want to find the YouTube video. This is a relation 
relational property. I'm gonna map it to whatever we've found in this first step and is the page ID, what I have to choose. So then this task, whenever it's created, is gonna be linked to the YouTube video. And now what I told you before, that is a thing that we can add to this system is to link the task with the SOP that explains how to do the task. In my case, in Notion, I have an area for all my SOPs and documents. So for example, here I have one that is creating a YouTube video for our channel. So this is our whole uh, YouTube process. So I will want to find that here, creating a YouTube video for our channel. So this task is gonna be linked automatically to this SOP. Why is this very useful? Because in the case that you're going to delegate all the tasks that are gonna be created, all of them can be linked to an SOP that explains how to do the task. You could even also automate the assigning of the task. So all this can create a task, assign it to the right person, link to the right documentation, and that person is gonna be able to see the task and see how to get it done. So this is not only going to save you time in creating all the tasks, but also in delegating all the tasks. And that is it. This will be for scripting task. And now we will just have to repeat this process over and over for all the other tasks that we want to create. And we can do so much faster with cloning the module, bringing it here, clicking on it, and simply changing the title of the task recording and the rest is gonna be the same because the SOP in my case is the same the YouTube video is the same, everything is the same. One thing that we can also do is to schedule the tasks relative to some date. So let's say that your client joined on today, <laughs> which is July 19, and you want every time to start, in this case, scripting the video on four days before, okay? Or some days after. This works for, for both ways. So how do we do that in Make? So we have here the DO date. You will have to have a date property inside of Notion. And what you can see here is that I am missing actual data from the database. So what I want to do is to run this module so I can get some data. That's it. I got some data over here. And now I can also use this. And now I can do that the scripting should happen four days before the video release date. If your client is joining today and you always do the same 10 tasks. You can do that the first task starts today, then the next task starts five days after and so on. You will have to define when each task should be done, taking into account how long it takes to do each of them. And then you can schedule them relative to the client's joining date by doing like this. Here we will go to the date area and what we want is to add days. This formula, what, what does is exactly this, to add or subtract days from a particular date. Now what we want is to go to this first step and get, in my case, the release date of the video, which is this one over here. Here, yes. And in my case, I want the scripting to be done four days before the release date. So in my case, it's going to be minus four. And that is it. Maybe now this one, this one the recording is gonna be done three days before the release date. So I'm going to do the same here, add days. I'm gonna go here, previous step, release date. The date is this one, and I want this to be minus three. And okay, so I'm just gonna run this automation because you get the gist. This is recording. And now I'm just gonna give you a, a last tip. If you want to duplicate multiple tasks at once by pressing shift, you can just do like this, right click, copy modules, then you can come here, paste, and you have duplicated two instead of just one, okay? Now I can delete them. So let's run this automation and then I explain you how this is gonna be triggered. Run it, let's go to our video the onboarding client your clients want. Let's see how this already created the two subtasks over here. So, and if I open it, we can see that the SOP is already here and that the date is Monday and for the other one is Tuesday. This makes sense because today is Friday. So like this, we can create all the tasks for your project. Now, how the trigger working? This works every X number of minutes. So here, what I will recommend you is don't do it so often. Maybe, I don't know if you're in a rush or not for creating this task, but I wouldn't do this too, too often. Maybe every 60 minutes, something like this. I think that will, be, that will be enough. Just bear in mind that the maximum delay that this can take is 59 minutes and, and that is it. So this automation every hour is gonna check for, in my case, videos that are already scheduled but don't have tasks due to the formula that I created. And when the automation finds one video, it's gonna create these two 
tasks, okay? I hope this was clear and this was useful. This is saving my clients so much time because 95% of my clients follow asset process for all, the, all of their clients and I hope this helps you too. That is it for this video, guys, and as always, hasta la próxima.